Guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. I appreciate you coming back and watching my videos. The video today is really for my bunker customers. I want to do a detailed video on what my gas tight interior doors look like. Now, in a lot of my videos, as you'll see right here, when we go down to the bottom of the stairs, it's a little dark in the mudroom, as you can tell here and you don't really ever get a good look at the door. So I was at the factory last Sunday with a client and uh, there was one of the little NATO safes there. And we put the same door even on the NATO safe. But I thought I'd slow down and shoot you guys a little video to show you the details of what the interior gas tight door is like on the bunkers. Now to get into one of my bunkers, you have to go through a bulletproof nuclear blast hatch that's on the surface. And then when you get to the bottom of the stairs, you take a left or a right, and you turn and you walk into a bunker. So before you get to the bunker, this is where this door is placed. Now this door is gas tight. The reason it's gas tight is in case you're ever down in the bunker and you lose your overpressure, by being gas tight, it will not allow carbon monoxide to come into the shelter from a generator running in the mudroom. It won't allow the, the smell from trash that could be stored in the, in the uh, mudroom. And it also won't allow the biological and the chemical matters to get into the bunker in case you lose overpressure. So you're asking, what is overpressure? Overpressure is what's built when the NBC air filtration system is running in the bunker. What it does is like filling up a balloon. Eventually the balloon will pop. A bunker's the same way, but instead of popping, what happens is the bunker has an overpressure blast valve and it releases the excess air. And if you have a gap underneath your door, it will let the air out. So if you have a bunker and you don't have an airtight door, you have to keep overpressure in the bunker. Otherwise, if it stops, then the air starts coming into the bunker. This is why I make all the Atlas shelters with gas tight doors because I'm not going to take a chance that you may not lose your air system or lose power at some time of your in the life of your bunker or in case of an emergency. Now there's another beautiful way you can put a door on a bunker. As you see right here, this is a Fort Knox door. I can put a Fort Knox door on a shelter, but it's not airtight. That means you have to maintain overpressure because it's not airtight and gases could come get in. So if you have a Fort Knox door, which is a beautiful door, uh, you can't run a generator in the mudroom because the carbon monoxide could come back into the bunker. So I do this because it is, it is basically eliminating any odds of you being killed by carbon monoxide, smoke, biological, chemical matters, anything. It's just, it's just the best way to do it. And this is a military spec. Um, most people don't do this, but I'm not most people. So I'm building a bunker to be the best bunker in the world and to guarantee your survival. So I hope you appreciate that. I'll also go ahead and show you how the bulletproof hatch opens up on the surface as shown right here. You see you open up this hatch and you go down the stairs. Now this hatch is made out of 3 ace AR 500 bulletproof steel. This hatch will stop anything except a 50 cal at point blank range. So guys, enjoy the video. I'll see you at the end. Now these are marine grade gas tight waterproof doors same type that you would find on a ship. But we find they're great for the shelters because the shelter has to be gas tight. You gotta keep out the biological and you gotta keep out the chemical agents. And you also gotta keep out carbon monoxide in case you're running a generator in a shelter. But they're all steel. Um, they've got steel hinges with uh, nice little stainless steel pins in the middle. The handle is stainless steel. Uh, there is a place where you can lock it on the ads outside. You can put a padlock on there. It has a nice handle. To open it, all you do is you raise the handle like that. And on the inside, there's six dogs. And that's what makes this door so good is because it locks down so well. Each one of those dogs tightens down that area so that the gasket which is this gasket right here, will indent on the steel, creating a barrier between you and any gases that could get in. So we made the change to this door, oh, probably about five years ago, and um, the shelters always seem to improve, but there's really not much more we can do to them at this point now to make any better, because we've made changes as we've evolved. But um, this is how it works. When you turn the handle, 
these locked down and you know we're using stainless steel here too so you don't ever have to worry about them rust um, but there's six of these dogs on each one of these doors but uh, you'll be very comfortable to know that the door that you're gonna get from Atlas is gonna be one of these type of doors and it's not hard to close you just press it in you lock it down and that's it so guys I hope you enjoyed this uh, video just on the doors I'm actually here at the Texas plant over in one of the wings and I thought I'd make you a video just to show you the detail on our doors so I hope you enjoyed that video it's a short little two-minute video to show you the details on the gas tight door in all the Atlas survival shelters so guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's short and quick, but this is really for my customers that are gonna get a bunker. Um, make sure if you are not a member of my channel, make sure you like and subscribe. And guys, if you like my videos, please share them. That means a lot to me. I want it, more people to get my message out there. You know, this country is facing a civil war and I'm trying to help people get prepared and give them good ideas and tips. But guys, as always, I love you. I'll see you on the next video. <laughs>